Hey guys, you're watching Kitty Crafts. Welcome back to another Minecraft Monday. Today I'm going to be showing you how I made these really simple Minecraft armor and weapons that I turned into keychains and some magnets. I realized on my channel I've never really made 2D Minecraft projects other than this headband which you can check out in the video up there and I only really make 3D projects so I wanted to take it easy today and make some really simple sprites that I got straight from the game so let's get started and I hope you have fun making these with me here are all the colors I used to make my diamond armor you can change it up so that it can be iron gold or even netherite armor I usually make the outline of all these sprites first and then I fill them up with the different colors and remember you can pause the video at any time or slow the video down so that you can follow along. The diamond helmet is done and now let's work on the diamond chest plate. For ironing, you can use the masking tape method so that you can get all of the beads off of the board. They can peel off just like that, but I would still recommend you just flip the entire board over. And of course, since diamond armor is so precious and beautiful, I'm going to be using ironing film to give it a shiny finish. My iron is on the polyester setting or medium setting. Once one side is done, I flip it over, carefully peel off the tape. We'll save that for later, and then do the same thing on the other side. While they cool, just place a heavy textbook on top so that it stays flat. The diamond leggings are done and now we just have to finish the diamond boots. If you're experienced with ironing and you know your pegboards won't warp, then you can try ironing directly on the board like I'm doing here. Once all the armor is cooled down, it has this beautiful shiny finish because of the ironing film. You can keep them separate like this and turn them into individual keychains or magnets, but I want to use my pliers to do some smithing and connect all of these pieces together using jump rings. I connected a jump ring to one of the boots and then put that same jump ring through another hole in the leggings. I closed up the jump ring using my pliers and reshaped it and that's how you connect the boots to the leggings, the leggings to the chest plate, and the chest plate to the helmet. This might be a little too big to be a keychain, so I turned it into a magnet by sticking a button magnet onto the helmet and boots. With all this diamond armor, we definitely need some weapons to go with it, so here are the colors to make a diamond sword. Thank you. 
The trident is fairly new in the game, and when I tried to get one from one of the drowned that I encountered, I was killed immediately, so this trident is really strong. These are all the colors to make the crossbow and the bow and arrow. Since the space between the beads in the bowstring is too large for them to be ironed together, we'll need to use the masking tape method and move these beads around and add a few extra ones so that the bowstring can reach all the way and fuse together. Same thing with the crossbow, we'll need to use the masking tape method so that we can move some of the beads closer together and then make sure they will fuse properly. Now we just have to iron these and we're done! Finally, let's make some keychains. I just connected the jump ring through one of the beads in the crossbow. And that is my crossbow keychain and then did the same thing to make a diamond sword keychain. For the rest of them, I turned them into magnets, but of course you can turn whichever ones into keychains or magnets as you like. Now that the magnets are done drying, let's make sure that they can stick onto a magnetic board. Alright guys, so that is how you make some Minecraft armor and weapons that you can turn into keychains and magnets. Let me know in the comments which one you like best. Do you like the armor set up here, the arrow and bow, the trident, or the diamond sword and crossbow keychains? Let me know which one you like. I know other people have made these before. It's really easy to just copy the design from Minecraft itself, but if you were inspired by this video to make some keychains and magnets, or that really big armor magnet up there, then please tag me at cutiecrafts because I would love to see it. Shout out to some of these amazing beaters who recreated some of my previous Minecraft projects. I have a whole bunch of 3D projects that you can learn and you can check out the playlist down below. Thanks so much for watching. If you are new here, make sure to subscribe, hit the like button if you enjoyed this video and turn on your notifications. And I will see you guys next time with another cutecraft. Bye!